Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I want to share with you what God will do in your life when you stay with Him throughout the whole process. Now, you may feel like I'm not that bright, I'm not that pretty, I'm not that handsome, I'm not that strong, I don't have money, I don't have clout. You know, you may feel like you don't have too much of anything to make changes in your life. But when you have God, you have everything. Now, this is how God will beautify you. When you do it His way, when you obey till it hurts, when you obey to the point of tears at times, when you obey to the point where you're feeling humiliated or ashamed or you feel like you've lost a fight when you could have won knowing your skills in battle. But God says, hush, when you want to open your mouth wide. And God says, humble, when you want to show off your pride and beat your chest. And God says, be still, when you want to get busy and handle things. Well, this is another one of my analogies, so forgive me for wearing this one out. But this is you, in all of your plainness, all of your ordinariness. Is this ordinary or what? Wow, it's ordinary. I would not want to look at this every day. It would actually depress me. Now, but then, when God gets through with you, and you've gone through all your things his way. He covers you with a robe of righteousness. And he covers you in the blood of Jesus. And you come out looking beautiful. You look like you're more than what you are. That's the way God does. He beautifies you. This looks like it could be an onyx uh, tile, doesn't it? But we already know it's not, don't we? It's nothing more than contact paper. But God will take the ordinary things of life, the most mundane things of life, and he will work you and shape you into a thing of magnificent beauty. And people will look and say, oh, how amazing. How did you turn out to be that kind of person? And you'll know it. And you'll be more than willing to tell it because you will wonder at what God has done inside of you, yourself. So my point to you is do it his way. Handle it his way. Don't get to conniving. Don't get to tricking. Don't get to going through your little changes trying to lie your way or manipulate or whatever it is you know you could do that you and your flesh are very well acquainted with. Beyond your understanding, in spite of your fears, excuse me, do it God's way. And he will make you into a thing of true beauty and integrity. Listen to Mamacita. She knows what she's talking about. All right. Hasta la bye-bye.